Just saying, all right, we're coming to a caution here in three more laps. Whoa, Whoa trouble. Oh, trouble. And around goes Brad Keselowski That's off of Kyle Larson. Into the wall. Slamming on the brakes behind him. Everybody break, gets break, by. Break, break. Right. Contact, I believe, with Kyle Larson. Sent Keselowski into the outside wall and spinning. Right here, it looks like Kyle Larson said, I think I got an opening to, or a hole to get into. Wasn't quite enough room. Came into the left front fender of the two car. Keselowski sent him in the wall. Well, that's where it got dicey when he was coming back up on the racetrack in front of all these drivers. I see, see what happened to the 18. Yeah, he uh, he had to take evasive action to the, to the grass. About 22 right here, 22. Oh. Also in Fords, trying to work with him Whoa. there. Oh, and McMurray goes around oh, in front of huge, the field. Huge wreck. Paul Menard is in it. Clint Boyer is in it. Menard is hit by Casey Kane. His car is all torn up. And McMurray bounces off the wall, pulls away. There's Tony Stewart. His car stopped. There's Menard. At 200 miles an hour, when one car gets sideways in front of two-thirds of the field, this is the result. Well, we'll see what started this one. Uh, we're coming off turn four here. All bottled up, bunched up. All it takes is just a little bit of a tap from somebody from behind. See right there, it looked like Greg Biffle may have gotten into the back of the one car. Not sure, Jamie McMurray, that's in him around, and then it's on from there. He just starts taking out cars left and right. Biffle got into McMurray, but did Joey Logano give Biffle a shove into McMurray? There's our champ, Kevin Harvick. He got damage. Danica, come look at her come through here. I don't think she ever makes any contact with anybody. No, she doesn't. She's clean. Kyle Busch almost missed it. He got it in the left front. And Menard got hit about four times. Right now, I told you you're going to like this. <laughs> yeah, the biggest thing Carl Edwards said even before last year ended, he wanted to be a better team. Oh, no, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse. Pile up in turn four. Well, yeah, the, he just it looks like he may have lost the tire, Larry, or something might have happened to the car. Well, remember, a lot of damage on that 17 car from that last wreck, so that very well looks like what happened. Yeah, I mean, the car just starts to go with him. Uh, it, it could be aero. You know, the car did have damage. You're up in the pack like that, or it could have been a tire. It could have been anything, but he's definitely 17. He started to spin. And that 42, he said, I'm just going to stop. Do you make your mind up where you're going to land? There he goes. Oh, and Jeff Gordon missed that by an inch or less. I'm not sure what was going on. She sparked there for a lap or two. Whoa, oh, here Stewart goes Stewart around. around. Into, into Biffle. Tony Stewart goes around. And caution waves There's it again. More cars. Kurt Busch and Greg Biffle, a hard hit there. It's like the 18 and the 14 made some contact. Looks like smoke kind of drifted up in front of Kyle Busch, and they made a little contact, and that turned the 14 right down the hill. Jeff Gordon, another near miss. And Kurt Busch all torn up, not sure he could even see the 16. Yeah, and where he hit off that. the wall here. Pow. Where the 16, I guess 16 or 14, I don't know which one hit at the end of the wall. I think the 16 did. Darryl, did it look like the way that the 14 Tony Stewart went across the front of the 18? He just got loose right there? It did, Larry. I, 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 I'm not sure they made contact, but the air off of the 16 is what sucked the 14 around, and that oh. is an incredibly hard hit. My gosh, I'm glad. Oh, and then here, here comes yeah, neither Kurt. Had, neither could control their car, no. and I don't think either one. And we're down to a minute and a half here, so we're running. A, I mean, it's not going to be many more laps. Denny Hamlin goes to the top of the chart with Austin Dillon. Got Jake. one sideways. And around, turn one, in the wall. 
And that is Reed Sorensen. I think it was that quarter panel and the damage he had to the rear of that car that probably caused that accident. Clint Boyer had been trying to get past Sorensen to no avail. And this group had really started getting dicey. You could start to see it as they were coming off turn four down the front straightaway. I just wonder, Larry, if that flapping uh, right rear quarter panel maybe cut his right rear tire down, and that's what created this problem. We'll stop the clock in this session. This is the fear that these guys all had with this kind of qualifying, that there would be some cars that would get torn up by guys trying to make moves that they shouldn't really be making, but they're desperate to make them. Running really tight, close together. Ooh, look like, yeah. it looked like Boyer started to go the inside and then shot back to the right, and when he did, he clipped the back of the 44 of Sorens. Hard to tell from that angle if perhaps Boyer got turned by the car behind him. It's kind of hard to tell. It was, but they, these two guys were mad at each other leaving pit road. And Clem and out. Couldn't do it. And live, we have trouble with Danica Patrick. First our car, guys. Who hit me? That car is junk. Yeah, yep. I mean, they'll definitely be unloading the backup car for Danica Patrick. There's the 46 car of Michael Annette as well. This happens going down the back straightaway. It'll be head on in this view. I'm not sure. We'll watch right here again. See her back right. there, and here comes Denny. I think Denny dove out from behind her. She didn't realize he, was, he had moved out from behind her. She started to go left, and he was there. Annette tries to go high, and I believe he had a push from behind and got that, that, tangled uh, Kins, up in it. That yeah, Kins it was Kenseth. Is, oh, my gosh. I don't know how he missed that. And, and Kyle, Kyle Larson, Larson in 42 just, just as well. You know, the thing about Danica Patrick, Michael Annette, and Jeb Burton, as far as headed into the duels tomorrow, by no means are those three drivers safe on speed or owner points. I'm just I'm surprised, but I'm happily surprised. Oh, 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 no. Spinning and headed toward the inside wall. Johnny Sauter through the grass, smashed up nose, pounds the wall on the outside. We're back under caution. Oh, no, that's too Look bad. And he and Almendinger get together. Wow. I think that was, uh, I think the 43 of uh, down on the bottom there kind of forced Almendinger up into the, uh, they just kind of all accordion it up right there. And remember the grass is still the, the earth is still damp from all night rains here Tuesday night. So it's still very soft. And that split. We might be on the same team, but uh, you can mind your own business. 16. Oh, spinning in the wall. Trevor Bain. Good grief. The 2011 winner had just taken over the bubble spot when he found the wall and slides down to the apron at turn right, two. But I'm good. Clean. Clean, but the car just stepped out. I mean, when he went into the corner and he turned into the corner, that thing just stepped out with him. It got loose and away it went. And what he meant, his teammate, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., he said the 17 car, that's exactly what Sten... Crash. Three cars pile up, Bowman sideways, Dylan and Ball, Hornish, the yellow car slamming into the wall. And we're back under caution. Jeff Burton, I believe, also involved. There's Hornish. Nope. Yeah, I don't tell. Uh, and it all started. Jeb Burton yeah. and Sam Hornish got together, and he Bowman was just a victim. No. Yeah, well, he had mentioned something about the 11. I think he said, I didn't need going on the outside of the 11. I, I think you want to take a look at all that. Uh, he was actually a victim in his whole thing. See yeah. right there, Jeb Burton gets into the right rear of Sam Hornish in that nine. And then Jeb, it, it just causes Jeb's car to go to the right, and then it comes back hard left right into Sam. And that's what got Bowman. Yeah, Alex Bowman has nothing to apologize for. No, I don't think he made a mistake. He was talking about what got him back there in that position, battling for that final transfer spot. That double wide pack in front. Oh, treble turn three. Reckon, 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 reckon. Go low. Brian Scott, it down. Danica go. Patrick, it down. Back it down. Get out of the way, right? and Bobby Labonte. Here comes Austin Dillon and David Reagan to shoot through. He was just far enough back. He didn't get involved. And I tell you, David Reagan has it's had a charm life. I know he wrecked his car early, yep. but he's had a charm life ever since. As long as you're going straight, yeah, but I'm just 
All right, watch the 11. Hamlin. Yeah. Right on the back of, of Patrick. Yeah. And just a little, just in a, a little bump in the wrong place. Bobby Labonte, absolutely just nowhere to go. Or Ryan but, Newman in the 31 just yep. barely gets through there. But Darrell, if Hamlin slams on the brakes, Reed Sorensen in the 44 is going to run right over top of him. Well, he and Sauter are trying to pull that outside lane back toward the front, but they are still mired. Oh, oh got a spinner. Austin Hill, the 82, it looks like he got hit from behind. From behind, just hang on here. And they keep crashing on. Ben Kennedy. You're good down low. Joe Nemechek, the eight. Stay up high here. Truck also involved. Yeah, that's Austin on the outside of Cameron Haley. Wow. Just, just oh, got, did, it, did the did left it, rear tire come apart? Watch Chris Fontaine. Look at that job. He was able just to slip by. That's wow. using your brain, being calm, just steering through a wreck. Great job, Chris. I think that left rear tire went on that on that 82 yep. truck for I, Austin Hill. Everyone, just slow it down. Just slow it down. About four or five holes down here. Just slow Look it down. Look at the job. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. How about the job Timothy Peters did getting through there? How about Matt Crafton? He's down to second gear. By the Ooh. Wow. Crash. It's the big one. What a mess. There's a dozen trucks torn up in this one. Man, oh man. Look at John West Townley having such a good run running up in the top ten. There's Spencer Gallagher, Cameron Halen, Ca uh, excuse me, Cameron Haley in that 13 truck. Chris Fontaine in the 84. Timothy. Oh. Right on the back straightaway, you're look right, at, Mike. Look at the, what look happened at the to 11. Ben Kennedy? Well, Ben Kennedy looked like he had a tire down or it, something broken. It Michael, was almost and everybody stopped. piled in. James Busher, the 31, also involved in this incident. Ray Black Jr., the 07, maybe not a whole lot of damage. Ryan Ellis, the 28, gets caught by Daniel Hemrick. What happened? Kennedy was slow up top, but that didn't but, really seem to have anything to do with the. No, at all the beginning of that crash, right at the bottom, right around where James Busher was. Yeah, it's like an accordion effect. Once it looked like somebody get somebody slowed, and then they started running in each other. You don't think someone ran out of gas, do you? We were. We, it's possible. We within we, a lap or two, I think, of these guys coming down pit road. That's about the only thing that could have caused that. Let's uh, him, and it's just an accordion-like wreck as the trucks behind can't slow down in time. So many of these trucks with absolutely nowhere to go. Matt Tiff does a nice job going through the grass, and the 25 truck looks like he may have missed. Got to keep an eye on the flagman as well. They're not, they're, they're not going to make it. Oh, and, crash! And, and the red and black flag was out. None of them made it back, and on top of that, the big one right here in the trioval. Holy cow! Remember, Landon Castle took off first. He's in it. Hard, hard contact. There's Daniel Suarez, Blake Cook, the eight car. Dale Jr. is able to drive through it. In the season opener, like I said, in three hours and 20 minutes, and here's Kyle Busch who says, there's 12 more, I really don't have to worry well, about. Well, that's tongue in cheek. I don't, I don't think he's cl clapping for that. You see that car, so Carlos Contreras, that black car in the middle of the racetrack right there was slow. And see, look Kyle at, Larson's gonna squeeze Blake Cook. I think it that's was actually Suarez. Suarez was trying to get yeah. through the middle and he just wow. misjudged the, the room he had to make that move and cause that crash. That was a... That was a rookie who was trying to understand exactly how to go about qualifying here at Daytona under this format. Prior to today, the only place oh, where... Oh, oh, big trouble. That's the rookie Suarez up and over Regan Smith, the big one at Daytona in the trioval. Let's see if we can see what happens. Kyle Busch was pushing the rookie, giving him a, a shove here. Kyle Larson, excuse me. And it looks like he just gets him in a bad, bad spot right there, and he just got behind in his steering. Yeah, he got too far to the right, and coming off off of the corner right there, that car unloads as you come off of that banking, and it just took just a little bit, little bit too much. And that's that window that you have to push. And, and uh, if you get outside of the center of that back bumper, the way that these the front and back bumpers are curved, it's going to spin that car out. Watch this job that the Ream car, the 33 of Austin Dillon does. When 18 flips over the seven. Holy. Tell you, Chris Busher did a heck of a job sneaking through there too in that number 60 cheese at car. Great job by Busher all day long.
Those are some those are some great pictures. We have the best cameramen and women in all of sports. I mean, the images they capture, they, they can't do this for 10 oh, laps. Eric Jones around, back oh, across the field. The big one, part two at Daytona. Yeah, they can't oh. do this. A horrific crash for Kyle Busch, who slid through the infield grass and went head on into the inside wall. And he is climbing from that car, and, and that is an unbelievable sight. Wow. I mean, he hit that wall head on. It looked like he never even slowed down. And you see Kyle here being tended to by medical officials. And he is uh, alert and obviously talking, and that's a great sign. Kyle is pushing Eric Jones, or behind Jones. Looks like there might have been some contact there. There you see Kyle, top of your screen. Kyle bumps into Larson and it turns him to the left. Elliot Sadler hit there by Brendan Gone. And there's the 54. You saw the impact. And Kyle, he was trying to save it as long as yeah. he could. He, he, he was just barely going sideways. He was trying to save it. And then he noticed, or he, it was obvious he couldn't get it saved. And, and they've stabilized or tried to that, that right leg. And we'll continue to follow the story with Kyle Busch, injured in a crash here at Daytona. Now the race is over. Amarola is pushing hard on Larson. Larson sideways into the oh, wall. Man. There he goes. That's that same wall. Will they let him race back? No caution yet. Sparks for Eric Almarola. He's got a from 33rd up into the top 20. Oh, since the restart. Stewart in the wall. And now Matt Kenseth got bounced into the wall. Everybody scatters. Yellow flag. The Chevy of Tony Stewart, the Toyota of Matt Kenseth. Come to grief here between turn four and the trioval at lap 41. Mm. Look like that that thing that we've seen. Oh gosh, he got right over into the 21 car. One of the things we've seen is when a car gets to the left corner of your car, it loosens you up so badly. That's what it looked like. Hamlin got that nose up there, shot him up the track. Now, Stewart was six down here at the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah, you see Hamlin behind him in the 11. Now, watch when Hamlin gets right to that left rear quarter panel. It just, it, it turns your car, it makes your car get loose. And Tony tried to correct. Ryan Blaney was there. Michael ran into back of the 20. Michael, in the, Michael walked into 50. 160 laps complete. Brad Keselowski's day may have yeah, gone up in smoke. Know. Yeah, it did. He just, uh, the engine, it started smoking in the middle of one and two down here, and then it let go off of two. Yeah, you'll see, you'll start to see a little smoke trailing out of it, and then all of a sudden it just turns into a big ball of smoke right here. Nice job of holding his line and waiting until the inside was clear to move down into each other, the 31 and the, uh, and the, and the one. Yeah. And Ryan one, had nowhere to go. Yeah, one got into the oil and slipped up into the wall, and then Ryan was coming right behind him. He was probably in the oil, too. Ryan Newman at 31. Big cluster coming off turn number four. Smoke, oh, man. trouble, way in the back, but here come the leaders. The question is, are they going to throw the yellow, or are they going to let them race back? Seven, eight car pile up in the back straightaway. Caution is oh, out. out. Uh, as we go off, uh, that's in the one and two. Start off the back, off in the back straightaway over here. Let's see what happens. Four wide. Uh oh. And Austin Dillon tips Jeff Gordon. Yep. And it's on. Right in that spot where it didn't take much. And as they kept wrecking and more cars kept coming into the crash scene, NASCAR had to throw the caution. Three wide. You got help. A lot of help here. Look at him work that wheel.